video what i'm gonna do is that i'll be launching one more target group that is empty target group which i have i think already created it doesn't have anything so this one doesn't have anything right now just created a single target group as an empty now i'll be going in, inside the user target group and assigning a load balancer to it so uh, i think i can just click this one assign to the existing load balancer click this one and then it will ask like what load balancer you want to attach i want to attach that one okay so um, that's fine if i go inside and check a role I create a new role over here saying that okay if that is books sorry if that is users select next condition should be um, path it should be like users and all the stuffs apart from that I have to assign like that okay so users should be there and here you have to select the users target group 100% traffic you have to redirect there and select next and you have to give the uh, priority for that just one and done create user so see this one is being redirected but the default one is still being redirected to books okay so for example now if I go back to this one and hit it still it's being redirected to that one but if I go to users now and select this one service is not being there so oh, one second so because service is not there definitely so if I go and just quickly create that service um, users users connect with and users users um, that is 9000 and uh, here I have to select a load balancer the load balancer is uh, uh, application load balancer and listener is HTTP listener use existing group that is this user and slash user see this one I'm selecting the slash user because in my API that is already there as a slash users okay so created that just wait for some time yeah so it's been provisioning so just yep I definitely need to wait for some time okay so let me try refreshing this okay now I'm gonna tell give you a beautiful view see this one now hey the traffic HTTP the load balancer is being redirected to those two traffic okay but based on the condition if slash user will be there in the slash path then only it will be redirected to users uh, uh, target group and that user target group will be having targets inside of the users service which are those these one these one so it's still it's being provisioning so if I refresh that so if I go back over here and then select one of the service um, here, here, and uh, sorry, not right. So over here, just refresh this. That is still being projecting. So just wait for some time. Um, Okay, so go to load balancer. Yeah, so both are running fine. So this one, see, so it's being redirected to users and users and everything. So now, if I hit it now, see this one, user not found. And if I'm hitting this one, hey, that is being redirected to books because that is that is that is set as a default one. Now, if I'm selecting a like conditions, if I'm going back and uh, refresh this one two rules that are there so i'm selecting this one trying to edit this rule like this telling that hey whatever the traffic you are coming that should be redirected to um one second whether i have a target group empty 
oh empty is being used by other group so i'll just create a new target group mt2 so mt2 is being is it's there now so it doesn't have but any targets in it right so i'll just create that one quickly now I'll refresh this and say that mt2 okay so now the default is being redirected to empty which is which doesn't have anything now if i hit this one see this one it's like temporary and available but still the users is available now if i'm going back to this one create a new role saying that books next addition condition adding over here and here i'm gonna add books asterisk asterisk is very important over here by the way uh, next books you have to select to redirect the traffic and then the priority is second next create that one now hit it just need to wait for some time i think so yep so that's that so that's all so we have learned a lot until now we have created uh, uh, different services uh, we have uh, understood how uh, we can launch uh, everything uh, inside the ECS. I hope you found uh, that this particular series is uh, helpful. If you do, please do subscribe because I have uh, invested like months to, you know, uh, make this beautiful series for you guys so that uh, we will be having good understanding. Please do let me know if you have any uh, question and everything and yes i'm gonna provide uh, the github link and everything in future uh, if you want to follow me or something like that so i'm having programmer.com website will be launched soon keep looking to this website and i'll be posting the blogs there so you'll be having blogs everything keep looking into the uh, description and you will be having all the content there so yeah thanks for watching and do let me know please don't uh, forget to subscribe to my channel that will help me a lot thanks for watching have a good one bye bye